Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden and 2K packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable Madden and 2K coins on the market. And of course, do not forget to use code FURDY for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we are looking at the brand new Team of the Year, Christian McCaffrey. So here is our Team of the Year running back, Christian McCaffrey. 97 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 agility, 97 COD, 91 catching, 96 break tackle at 5'11", 205. Has a 97 juke, 98 spin, 95 carrying, and yeah, pretty good stats, honestly, across the board. I feel like the route running on this card should be a little bit better, and also the abilities on this card, I feel like, should be a lot better at least hitting the short routing threshold for the best receiving back in the nfl it would make sense to me when you have filele for example who literally hits this threshold not giving it to cmc doesn't make much sense to me also he does not get a free backfield master i thought this was going to be a lock of free backfield master cmc especially after chris johnson just came out and he does actually get free backfield master he does get one ap slot oh one ap slot apprentice which is very interesting if you want to play this card in the slot, you honestly could with Slot Apprentice. And uh, also, he does get one AP route tech out of the backfield. His only two free abilities are short out and short in. Which again, if you need, if you don't need hot route master, or if you do need hot route master, or if you don't need hot routes from your running back out of the backfield, I would definitely run one of these two abilities and not run backfield master. But it makes no sense to really stack the two. So we're also going to use evasive today and also does get all of his abilities that you have to pay for. He should. Besides, I guess, route tech. Yeah, no route tech in here, though, for 1 AP, which is kind of tough. But uh, the abilities on this card, I think, could be a lot better. The stats are good. Besides, I think the route running. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's hop into the gameplay and let's see what CMC can do today. Real quick before we hop into the gameplay, I have to remind you to hit that subscribe button. We post daily Madden 23 content from gameplays to tier lists, and now we actually stream right here on this channel. I'll be live today right here on this channel. So of course, if you are new here, any support is appreciated. Regardless, I do appreciate you watching today's video and let's get right back to the gameplay. There's a read option with a nice lead blocker in it. We're gonna be doing a lot of read options today. I've kind of ditched the fact, I've kind of completely ditched running normal run plays. All I run now is read options. So we're gonna be running that a lot today. You're gonna see a lot of Josh Allen and also a lot of CMC, hopefully. Let me put it on conservative. I kind of don't wanna put it on conservative, but I kind of have to because because I have evasive on CMC, right? And I probably won't actually, if I end up, I won't end up keeping this card, but like if you're running a lot of read options, again, evasive, it makes literally no sense because of just how the game plays. You, you kind of need to play conservative if you want to run the ball at your quarterback, unless you have Lamar Jackson. He's kind of the anomaly. But uh, I want to run the ball a lot. I don't know if that's going to pay off for us. We could also go swing pass. I forget about that. In running back game plays, we could always go swing pass. He's, you know, this used to carry running back game plays like a couple months ago this play right here so let's try it swing past the christian out of the backfield going to get it there joshy good ball good rack animation i also would have liked to have seen maybe like a free grab and go on this card i feel like they they had a lot of different opportunities with this card that i feel like were just kind of missed maybe free evasive if they weren't going to give him free backfield master i don't know i'm just thinking here of some ideas that i think would have made this card um, a little bit better um as far as the abilities go because again they're not perfect by any means so let's go um let's run this here and let's just go with a nice little read option nice little read option once again i actually really dislike the read on this but i'm still gonna end up handing this ball off to cmc most likely the middle little cutback christian i kind of chose the wrong hole doesn't doesn't fumble and we do get a fourth and one scenario where i'm gonna run the ball again here we're gonna run the ball again right, we're gonna go rpo read flat the read here should be gronk basically immediately uh, it's gonna be Gronk real quick. We're sending heat up the middle. We can have Gronk turn the corner. Gronk says, get off me. Gronk fumbles? Gronk fumbles on that hit? Hopefully we can, oh, we're in the backfield. We actually made the tackle before he was even able to hand it off. So the read is clearly Gronk with how he's so compressed. It's just clearly Gronk. Cutbacks inside and there we go. Gronk gets tackled by his own guy. Gronk's having a tough game. Gronk's having a tough one. Okay, let's try a normal run here. Let's go with counter wide Trey. I don't know if this play is going to work. If they blitz sometimes, they get to the, they get into the backfield too fast, and he blitzed, obviously. But if the blocks hold up, you see the grass. You know what? Like, that's an example right there of, I'm going to make the correct read. So let's see. It's This is the right read up the middle. And, yep, Miles Garrett. And you guys know my new motto. When in doubt, you just run four verticals. There's, not, there's, no, there's no other uh, idea here besides just running four verticals. That's all we're going to run. 
Hopefully we can kind of get Garrett in the open of the middle. Don't give me a KO. And we get KO'd and probably should have been an interception. He was open though. I don't I didn't even need to highball that. Again, I don't know why I highballed that. Let's run four verts again. I didn't even need to I didn't even have to highball that, but I did it for some reason. Because I felt like I had to. That was wide open. And let's see if we can get, see if we get that same route open again. Hopefully it's open again. It is. We left Gronk open. Dude, when in doubt, just run four verts. Never mind, we get another KO. Oh boy, we just screwed up. Just screwed up bad. Oh, it's actually, never mind. We didn't screw up at all. So let's get the interception. I'm going to go down because I want to feed CMC. We've been trying to do this whole video. And again, another read option look here. Chops the feet. Hit a hole. There is no hole. There, there's no hole at all. Maybe I got to go all the way outside there. Oh, that was actually a read. Oh, hit it. Where's my lead blocker? He's gone. He was gone. All right, no huddle. One more time. Read option. Here we go. Come on, Christian. Make it shake, Christian. Get a first down for us, Christian. There we go. Broken tackle, McCaffrey. Easily his biggest carry of the day. Maybe not. Wait, where did I get 17 yards from? I do not remember getting... Where did I get all those yards from? All right, another up the middle. He falls. Turn the corner. Christian. There we go. There we go, man. Okay, we're starting to find some room now. Starting to find some room to make some things pop. Make some things shake. And we're going to go swing pass here to Christian again. Uh, okay. Oh, it's halftime. No, no, it's halftime. It's his ball too. Oh, that's so brutal. This gameplay could not be... Okay, so we have, who would I rather, Christian McCaffrey edition. And again, you already know what my thoughts are on the abilities. They're not even up on mutt.gg yet, but you saw them in this video. So, yeah, I'm going to go with, um, actually, Eckler. Eckler is honestly probably pretty close to him. I'm going to go with CMC. I just like the fact that CMC has the 99 and the agility, and, or the acceleration and the COD as well. I feel like it just has a different feel on a card. So, to me, I am going to go with CMC over Eckler. I'm going to go CMC over Hines. CMC over Jones. I'm going to go CMC over Jamal Williams over Latavius. I think Sandcastle honestly might take the cake here. I, I like his abilities almost as much, if not better, because you're able to get backfield master for one AP here. And you can also get joystick or tank even for one AP or goal line back. So I actually do like Sandcastle more than CMC. I like Chris Johnson more than CMC. Um, I probably would say Jamal Charles and CMC are pretty equal. And I do like CMC better than Bo. I'm not a big Bo Jackson fan in, in this year's game. He just didn't play that good for me. Um, I, know, I know people do like his card, but to me, I like I like the way the CMC card felt a lot better than Bo. As far as acceleration, COD, things like that, um, they all felt pretty good. So CMC to me, definitely a top five to top four back in the game and uh, is definitely a pretty solid option. But again, the read's going to be great job by him. Am I on conservative? Hopefully I am. Josh Allen has 90 carry, which isn't bad. We have a Christian, hopefully... Oh, hit a hole. I missed the hole. I missed. Oh, Christian, step on it. We actually got loose. Wow. Wow. Okay. There we go. Christian McCaffrey, nine for nine for 50, right? 4.6 a carry is actually good, I think. It is 0-0 going into the fourth quarter. This might be the most boring game of Madden. Shout out to everyone watching the video up to this point. If you are still watching the video up to this point, let's comment a banana emoji. Comment the banana emoji if you're still watching the video up until this current moment. I know you're a real one, man, because this game has been probably less entertaining than watching paint dry to really be able to show that off. So let's see here again. Inside run, and there we go. CMC's going to go ahead and fall forward. But here we... Okay, hit a hole. Go, go, Christian. Why have I conservative? I don't remember. I'm going to go for a hurdle next time. The middle again. Christian, he eats a hit stick. He's probably very tired. He just laid there. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, he's tired. He just... He didn't even move. He just laid there, bro. He didn't even try to get up. This one seems to, yeah, I don't know. I like Owen Trap better, I think. Probably, right? But whatever. I've been, I've, been, I've been feeding CMC. I'm sure his eyes are pretty much set on him right now. Oh, yeah, he was ready for that. Oh, he was. Why would I run a slip screen on four? I think we go with something like this and just hope Gronk can get us the first down range. Actually, we're going to have Garrett quick. Garrett, go, 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 go. First down. We got that, right? Let's go. First down, Garrett Wilson. <laughs> that was a wild play call. Outside zone. Here we go. Keep it pushing. Two minute warning. Are we going to chew this thing out right now? This is a crazy game. Yeah, I'm only going to put it on chew clock, man. That was a huge conversion for us. I'm going to put it on chew clock. We're going to go back to the run. Oh, wait. What is this pinch he's going with here? If I keep it with Christian. Ah, uh, that was probably stupid. Do I go all the way outside with that? I don't know what the reads even there. If Christian's open, I'll throw it. This is also cover two. You could have Julio. Uh, we're going to have Gronk open as long as there's no KO. Easy. Inbound would have been nice. The clock might keep running. We, we weren't going forward, but I don't know, really know how this game works. Uh, the clock's gonna keep running, unfortunately, but still more a new set of downs to kind of chew the clock, and it's first and ten, so we might be able to. No, nah, there's no space there. There's no space to, to do what we want to do. We're up the middle here with Christian. Cut back. Oh, a little inside. Okay, Christian, I, I'm gonna score this. I okay, that's actually fine. 
But you see right there what the COD is able to do. Just a da, da, da. He was doing that and it looked great. It looked beautiful. I'm going to keep my eyes over there. All right, Gronk's is, is at, I'm gonna, or I guess we'll score this. One timeout and, he, and he, all he needs is a touchdown. I think that's going to be the move. Get it out to Gronk. Give me my first. Okay, there we go. He needs a two point conversion now to win this game. We cannot lose this game now. That's huge. That's huge. The best we're going to get is overtime. Against my man here. He probably wants this. Nothing's actually going to be open. Walker makes a sack. It's huge. He's going to have to call timeout. He might not, though. He might just let it happen. All right. I think we come out cover three, low key. Cover three, shade over. And I wanted a blitz. Oh, I didn't get my blitz off. Quick seam. We should have KOs. We're good. Beautiful. Beautiful job. Third and 30 with one timeout. Nolan Smith is free. And there we go. Third and fourth and 30. Sorry. Fourth and 30. I'm going to go same shell. We get free. No one's free. Interesting, interesting throw. We do get a KO, and that should do it. And we're being honest with ourselves. There wasn't that big of a struggle running the ball today. We actually didn't do that bad. Up the middle, Christian, two touchdowns, man. Two of them for Christian, dude. Who would have thought? We struggled to get one, and we struggled to get one the whole game. We finished with two. Now, this card just feels smooth, man. I don't know. I He just he does just feel smooth to me. Middle again. Christian doesn't get in because Miles Garrett has that crazy closing speed. But uh, yeah, good gameplay, man. Honestly, it was a good one. So uh, it was a good game because it came down to the end-ish, I guess.